On WLWT, a Walnut Hills business owner rethinking his business plans tonight after he says crooks have targeted his store one too many times. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Chris Jacobs. And good evening to you. I'm Cherie Palello. So frustrating here for this owner. So the owner of the stash dispensary says that his shop has been broken into six times this year, three times just in the last month. WLWT News Flies Karen Johnson is live for us outside that shop on East McMillan Avenue with more on this story. Hi there, Karen. Hey, Sheree, that's right. The owner of the stash dispensary right here on East McMillan tells me he was hit actually three times in just three days. He says at this point he feels like it might be time to get out of the CBD business. A break in at the stash dispensary caught on camera. Owner Joshua Harp says this was the first of several burglaries at his Walnut Hill store this year. As a business, small business owner, of course, you know you're going to deal with break ins, but I'm talking about six in one year. Last month, he says his store, which sells CBD products and clothes, was targeted three times in three days. So as you can see, they've been prying. They were prying here with a screwdriver. And getting into the building through a back door, Harp says. So if you look around, usually it'd be filled with like different products, different stuff, different clothing. So the thieves decided to break in the back of our buildings and rob our storage unit. Once inside, Harp says they went down the stairs and busted through the door to the room where he stored all of his CBD products and clothes from his clothing line. Hart provided us with this security footage that shows several people walking through the building, lugging boxes down the hallway and eventually out the door. They took boxes and boxes of our clothes. They just robbed us blind. Harp opened his business about five years ago. At first, he just sold clothes. He says he never had any problems until he started selling CBD products. It wasn't like this till we decided to go into CBD though. You know what I'm saying? So it was like once we decided to bring in the, the cannabis, it was like uptick, 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 uptick. And Harp uh, tells me he has filed police reports with the Cincinnati Police Department, he said. But at least in the most recent cases, there has been very little movement on the investigation. Cincinnati Police just got back to me and they did say an arrest has been made related to one of the one of the incidents that took place earlier this year. Reporting live tonight in Walnut Hills, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, any idea if all of these break-ins are connected or maybe the same group of people? You know, that's hard to tell. I asked Harp that and, he, you know, he's not sure. Possibly, he said, at least in the most three that took place, September 23rd, 24th and 25th. Uh, but it's really hard to tell at this point if they're all connected. All right, Karen Johnson live for us in Walnut Hills. Hopefully police can solve this one soon. Karen, thanks so much.